we have Jerry with us, Jerry Sands. Hi. Hi. What was your first job and how old were you? My first job was working in a gas station as a gas pumper and I wasn't even 16 yet. Right around here in the middle of town at what's a convenience store now on Center Street. Oh, I think I know that place. So uh, you weren't 16, so how'd you get to that job? You couldn't drive. I rode my bicycle or my parents gave me a ride. It wasn't very far from home. Okay. And then uh, that summer I got my license and I started, I, I started driving a bit. Um, and then about a year later, a couple of years later, I got my first car and then I was on my own driving. Okay, so there were a couple of years there. So how long did you work at that job? About eight. Okay. So how'd you get the job in the first place? The owner was looking for, um, he had workers leave on a holiday weekend, on Memorial Weekend, Memorial Day weekend. They went to the Poconos in Pennsylvania, and he needed uh, people to cover and called my house looking for my brother, who was five years older than me. My brother was out of town, so somehow he, they asked for me and my parents said okay, and I went to work. Was it what you expected? I didn't know what to expect because I didn't know I was gonna start working. I didn't interview, I didn't do anything like that. I just changed my clothes got a ride to the gas station, and started learning how to pump gas. Hmm. Well, I think gas station, I think getting robbed. Have you ever gotten robbed? or? Robbed? I never got robbed, but I did get ripped off for uh, about $30 one time by a scam artist. Okay, so uh, like, what was the craziest thing that ever happened at the gas station? The craziest thing? Well, there was one guy that worked there that liked to change oil and not put the oil plug back in. So when he poured the new oil into the engine, it would go right through the oil pan and onto the floor of the gas station. That would um, get the owner of the gas station very mad. Describe your workplace. Like, What did you do exactly? I was mainly responsible for pumping gas. On Sundays, I opened and closed as a high school senior, so I was 17, 18 years old. I did that for more than a year. I worked from 8 in the morning till 6 at night. I would work some nights during the week, but mostly it was weekends that I was working, and I learned to do basic repairs on a car. I could change oil. I could um, change tires. I would change or replace fan belts and radiator hoses. That's about it. You're a math tutor, right? Now? Yes, okay. I am. Describe what you do now. What exactly do you do? I work with students who are from middle school age up through adults, adults 50 or 60 years old, and I help them with basic math through um, algebra into calculus, also trigonometry, and statistics. Okay. So and some standardized test prep. Okay. So did your first job influence your Not current? at all. Not at all? Not at all. Uh, I know you talked to me a little about your second job. How about that one? Did that influence? The second job was in a technical area. I was a, an electronic technician. In high school, what I decided I wanted to be was an engineer and I uh, went to school for engineering and had to drop out of school because I didn't study very much. So in so. high school you, were an, you wanted to be an engineer? Yes. What did you want to be as a kid? As a kid I wanted to be a fireman. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so how that big change? I grew up. Okay. Definitely uh, grew up. If you had to describe your first job with one word, what would it be? Dirty. Dirty? Yes. Can you explain? Yes. Working in a gas station, you're around oil and grease. And um, I would work a lot during the summer, and it would take a month or so for my hands to get clean after the uh, school year started, and I was working less. Um, the oil and grease would get in the uh, pores of my skin, 
and take a while to uh, to come off. And I would I would get a, I would I had my gas station clothes, and um, wouldn't wear those clothes other places, again because of the oil and the grease. Do you have any anything that you remember most that like? Well, I there were a couple of gas shortages in the 70s, and there were lines about a mile or more long of people lining up to get gas. And um, those are very difficult days to work because the gas prices were increasing. There was short supply. And we sometimes we ran out of gas before the uh, people would get up to the pump. And um, they weren't happy. And they had waited in line for an hour or so. Those were very difficult times. Uh, did you learn anything from that first job? Yes, I learned to be honest. I learned how to serve the public. I learned that the public isn't always nice. But uh, but most of all, I learned honesty. Okay. So you said the public wasn't nice. Can you give me like an example? Of yeah, they're, they can be very demanding and they can be very unreasonable. I worked in a gas station during before self-serve. It was full service. And in a thunderstorm, people would come in and ask for a couple of dollars worth of gas because that would, that would get you some gas in those days. And um, they would ask you to check the oil and the antifreeze and the windshield washer fluid in, in pouring rain. <laughs> so that, uh, that wouldn't make me very happy. Okay. So, but you kept calm, though, right? I generally kept calm, oh, yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, so, so patience was another lesson. Okay. Uh, is there anything you'd like to tell young the youth trying to find the first job? Yes. Be honest, and um, and honesty and reliability are two um, uh, traits that will stand by you um, for your life. Okay. So, uh, thank you, Jerry, for okay. being here. Okay. Thank you.